Welcome, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the final week or two of 2022. I am taking a little bit of time off right now, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with no entertainment in the interim. So uh, get that Coke. <laughs> so warm up some coffee, some hot cocoa, or some eggnog. The rum is optional. And uh, I'm going to do some mail time. I've had a bunch of packages arrive in the past actually month or two. I haven't had a chance to open them all, so I've got some stuff that was sent in by fans to my P.O. box. I got some gifts that vendors have sent over that I've worked with this year, and I've got some other random stuff too, some stuff that I've ordered, and honestly, I'm not even sure what's in all of these packages. So, Happy New Year to all of you, and let's get started. Excellent! I'm gonna begin with some stuff that was sent to my P.O. Box, and if you're not aware, my P.O. Box is P.O. Box 4325 Diamond Bar, California. It's listed in the video description of every single one of my videos, and if you'd like me to open something that you send over, then that's where you should send it. The first letter here was sent by David Coleman from Texas. Let, let me read this real quick. David wrote me a very heartfelt letter here with a lot of personal stuff in it, so I'm not gonna dive into all the things he talked about, but David has been struggling. So uh, David, uh, I have some words of encouragement for you. Uh, don't feel bad about writing this letter and asking for stuff. You're not gonna get anything if you don't ask for it. That's often the case, and there's nothing wrong with asking. Now, the thing in this letter that I thought was very positive, despite a lot of the struggles you've been going through, is that you seem to be very self-aware. You seem to be pretty understanding of the things that are holding you back or causing you difficulty. It also seems like you're being proactive to try to fix things and not hang around with people who are dragging you down, but uh, stick closer to people who are going to bring you up. And that would be something that I would encourage you to continue doing. Focus on the people, the friends and the family and otherwise who are helping you and who are making your situation better versus any of them that are just dragging you down or making the situation worse. And try to devote most of your time to the people who are creating a positive impact on your life. As for your request for me to send you a gaming PC. Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's my general policy because uh, I'm blessed to have such a large following that I actually get requests for this kind of thing all the time. And because I don't really have a good way to say this person is deserving or this person is not deserving or to be able to vet a lot of the stories that come through, it's just my general policy that I can't just send out free hardware to people. But David, I do want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I really hope that 2023 uh, keeps things moving in the right direction for you and is a much better year than 2022 was. Next letter here is from Zach Nelson from Washington. Zach, what can I say? Thank you so much for writing this letter. I really feel where you're coming from. I'm happy to have introduced you to North Coast North Coast's Old Rasputin beer, uh, an excellent beer for anyone who wants to try it. And uh, I'm glad that uh, the things I said in Probing Paul episode number 74 resonated with you because that, that's how I feel. I don't like people who are negative and judgmental. And, and in particular, when it comes to sort of black and white binary thinking that seems to be all over the place these days, it often seems like people just want to figure out whether or not you agree or disagree with them like on a political level. And then based on that, they just want to hate you or consider you a friend. So I'm very glad that you agree. I will do my best to continue to keep it real for next year and beyond. And yes, I would totally like to do more Civ 6 live streams. I just, well, I gotta find the time. Maybe, maybe after CES. I already know where this one came from, from Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Uh, we just recently did a charity event for them. We raised um, over $50,000. I think it's actually in the mid $50,000 range. And they like to send us stuff from time to time. So here's a holiday countdown um, because you can continue contributing to the Extra Life charity through the very end of the year, uh, the 31st of December. And they also sent us a happy holidays note uh, saying they're grateful for, for friends like you who make it possible for kids to get the best possible care at their local children's hospital from the Extra Life team, including Haley. Thank you so much for this letter and thanks for uh, running such an awesome charity. Next up, we have this. And I, I have to admit, I've already opened this. And, I, and I'm not sure what to think. I was, I, it's not, I don't get a lot of packages in tube form. This was shipped from an LLC in New Jersey, and I think that's a printing company perhaps, and this was ordered by someone. The ship too is Paul's Hardware who needs this poster. So what, what poster do I need? Why? <laughs> Why this poster, of course. So here's the weird thing. I'm trying to figure out who this is, and I, sh I feel, should I recognize this person? Is this just a fan who sent me a picture of themselves? How am I to figure out what the heck is going on without any further labeling on the package? But I mean, they're holding a drink up and laying down by the fire. It's like there's some more of whatever's being drank on ice down here, like uh, some some sort of old school game console. I, I mean, this is this is awesome. It's also thoroughly baffling. So thank you to whoever sent this. And if anyone watching can figure out what the heck it is or what it means, or if there's some inside joke that I'm totally missing, uh, please let me know in the comments section. This might be the last of the fan sent things. This is from 
Taylor and Gina Maggiani, who are from Colorado, uh, to be specific. Oh, oh look, it is wrapped up. Look at that, an actual gift to Paul from Gina and Tyler. Card and everything, this is just like Christmas. Dear Paul, my husband loves your show and I like overhearing and listening to it too. Embroidery is a big hobby of mine and my husband Tyler had the idea for me to do an embroidery with your logo and send it to you. I hope you like it, Gina. Wow, Gina, this is, this is exciting. I love custom made stuff. I love stuff that uses my logo. <laughs> and oh my gosh, look at that. What a striking rendition of the classic thumb screw, I will say. I think that is just gorgeous. Uh, my only regret would be that like Christmas season is now like almost over and I would love to like hang this up somewhere. I mean, I guess honestly it, it's appropriate year round. Of course, the Paul's Hardware thumb screw logo is meant to be like that. She even embroidered uh, a G on the back. So it's got the monogram there as well. So Tyler and Gina, Merry Christmas and thank you so much for the wonderful gift. I think I'll put it right back here. It's over there in the corner. I believe the next few things are vendor gifts. So these are sent over by vendors that I work with. If you guys work corporate jobs or anything like that and you work with different companies, it's pretty common to send a little something to say thank you towards the end of the year. I try to do that. Sometimes I do a better job at it than others. I think I might know what this is though. It is Happy Holidays from Team AMD and they sent me one of their awesome Ryzen overclocking shirts. The AMD Ryzen overclocking team because it's, uh, the code name is Raphael. See, Raphael, and Raphael was a Ninja Turtle. I mean, he's also an artist, of course. So this is like a Raphael Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style Ryzen shirt. They were all wearing these at the event I went to in Austin a few months ago. And I was like, I love that shirt. Can I get one? And they said, yeah, we'll send you one. So thank you, AMD. I'm gonna, I need to wash this so I can start wearing it. They sent a large, right? Yes, and it's the right size too. Cool. The next package here is from Zotac maker of graphics cards and tiny little computers. Some nice cellophane wrapping here, and inside we have a sheathed, ooh, oh, Hugo Boss. What's inside? They put a bit of an inspirational quote on the card here. A pen in the hand is like a printer connected to the mind. And they have included these pens here, which are very substantial pens. Yeah, not too bad at all, uh, Zotac, thank you. These are. These actually, now that I have an office, I feel like I should have like a little pen holder with some really fancy looking pens in it. So uh, there we go. One has the cap, one has a little twist to uh, push the pen part out. What a lovely gift. Thank you to my friends at Zotac. Moving right along, this one comes from Rita and I believe also from Noel over at one of the PR agencies that I work with. If you guys aren't familiar, some uh, brands, some manufacturers have their own PR uh, people who work directly with people like me and YouTube and influencers or whatever they want to call us these days. Others uh, will have a PR agency. So some PR agencies will uh, have more than one company that they work with. So uh, this one specifically came from uh, Lexar and Thermaltake. Or I should say that is who this PR company represents, Lexar and Thermaltake. We have a card yet again. Hello, Paul. Thank you so much for being supportive this year. Our team handmade candles for you and your loved ones. We look forward to working with you in the year to come. Best wishes from Noel and Rita. And of course, their entire team. Here are the candles. And inside, oh, look at that. Oh, again, they smell so nice. So lovely and Christmassy. I'm actually recording this before Christmas, so we'll be able to burn these for Christmas. But honestly, we burn a lot of candles in our house, so I'm happy to have these too. You got some cinnamon in there. Uh, this one has a lovely flower. Is that a perhaps a poinsettia? I'm, I'm not exactly sure which one, but they both look lovely. Thank you so much, Noel and Rita. Oops, this one's a little out of order. This one was also sent to my P.O. box. This is from Tech Blacksmith uh, from Nevada. So uh, this one was also sent by a fan, or I guess if you're a Tech Blacksmith, should I consider you a colleague? I'm not sure. So this letter is from Shane of Tech Blacksmith or bespoke-computer.com. He says many kind things. He loves the live streams. Uh, he, he recognized myself and Joe. Also mentioned Kyle. He also mentioned my video about Hero, which, which always gets me right in the feels as well. Uh, in my Ryzen 7000 series coverage, I did a little bit of testing with the 7600X and a Wraith cooler. And I mentioned in that video that I did not have one of the older, uh, slightly older Wraith coolers that has a metal, uh, what I said is a metal slug in the middle. This is actually a vapor chamber, I believe. But Shane was kind enough to recognize that and then uh, he sent me one over. Here it is, right there. Now Shane, what I should have been more specific about when I was talking about that is I don't have one of those 
here at my office because I haven't transferred everything from my garage over to the office. But one thing I have found is that I never quite seem to have enough coolers around here. So this is definitely gonna get added to that little pile because these are super handy just if you're setting up a quick system. And like if I'm gonna put an AIO or something on it later on to have a cooler just to plop on top just to like get windows loaded or something like that, these are great to have. And I don't know if they completely stopped making this version uh, to opt for the other one that has the, the higher RPM fan or if this one still is in production, but either way, it's very good to have one for, for legacy purposes. So thank you very much, Shane. I've been waiting to open this box. This one is from John, uh, who does all my merchant stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's in it. It does say delicious ingredients are perishable, put in freezer or fridge immediately, which maybe I should have done already prior to now. In my defense, following instructions uh, is, can often be a challenge. Uh, oh, but here is another card. It's the year, <laughs> the year, new and improved, with 365 more chances to fulfill your hopes and dreams. Results may vary, improvement not guaranteed, but achievable when used in conjunction with a positive attitude. Hi, Paul Seasons, greetings. We send our best to you and your family. Warm regards, John and Suki. Thank you so much, John. And I hope whatever is in here really didn't need to be refrigerated that much. Ooh, oh, this looks like chocolate. Hold on, I gotta stand up for this. <gasps> oh, John, you wonderful, you wonderful, wonderful person. Look at all this. So we have this here from Laughing Moon Chocolate, which is a sampler and uh, it says they're handmade in Vermont. Oh my gosh. You know, most chocolate things that you get, the chocolate is all spaced out and they're like, here's a big old box with like, you know, five chocolates spread out on a piece of cardboard or something. That is packed with chocolate. I very much appreciate that. And I suppose I have no choice but to eat one of these right now, right? I mean, what else am I gonna do? Which one should I pick? I'm gonna go for one of these with a little drizzle of chocolate across the top. Here goes. Ooh. It's so rich. That tastes so good. Okay. <laughs> oh. We also have beer. Oh my God, it's Hetty Topper. Hetty Topper. All right guys, uh, two kinds of beer here. Uh, we got the Hetty Topper and we have a double X chocolate maple porter um, from Stone Corral. Hetty Topper is made by Alchemist Beer and um, does have a reputation. Uh, the Hetty Topper is 8%, the Chocolate Maple Porter is 7.8%, so these are both pretty strong beers too. Uh, I'm looking forward to drinking these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John, so much. What an, what an excellent gift. I, I feel like you've set the bar pretty high for the rest of this, uh, for the rest of this video. I basically have three things left to open. Uh, so I'm gonna start with this one. This one was sent over by NVIDIA. And no, it is not a graphics card, but it is something that will help me do better graphics card testing for all of you. We got some NVIDIA green bubble wrap in there. All right, so uh, we got these, we got these cables here, these in-between cables. We've got some, some of these adapters here for, for 12 VH power. So this is an NVIDIA PCAT setup, P-C-A-T, which is their power capture analysis tool. If you're testing a video card, there's various ways to determine the amount of power that's drawn. Uh, you can determine overall system power draw, which is one of the ones that I usually rely on, which is a very valuable metric in my opinion, especially if you maintain consistency between uh, the test beds that you're using. However, there are better ways, even more accurate ways to determine just specifically how much power the GPU is using. And it's pretty well understood that uh, software monitoring tools uh, are not always the most accurate because polling times can vary and they don't always pull up the right information. So this set of equipment will allow me to test how much power specifically the GPU is using. So it's got a PCIe riser and you install that between the motherboard and the graphics card. And then that has a connector that goes over to this board. And then this board here has power pass through. So you would route your uh, eight pin PCI Express graphics or your 12 VH power connectors through that. And uh, this does look like an updated one that has 12 VH power connectors on both sides and even 12 VH power extension cables. It's the first time I've seen something like that. But you connect all that up and then you wire it up via USB to the test system. And then you can use NVIDIA's FrameView software to log the data that's being captured by this setup. And again, that's gonna allow me to test graphics cards and give you guys much better data on how much power they're using. So I'll be very happy to start using this in 2023. Thank you very much, NVIDIA. I have two more things to unbox. This one right here, and again, I must confess that I've already opened this because I wasn't quite sure what it was. And uh, th these these things have arrived over, over the course of a few different of a few weeks. And there were times when I was waiting for things, and I was like, ah, is that the thing I'm waiting for? And it wasn't. But 
This is from my friends at PC World. Look at that, that's a handwritten note from Gordon. Thanks for being a friend of the channel. Hope 23 is a good year. That's from Gordon. Thank you, Gordon. Thanks to everyone over at PC World. I, I, I'm very curious what this is. Ooh, some decals there for the Full Nerd, uh, which is their regular live stream series. Ooh, ooh, okay. This is also, uh, this is also a follow-up to some stuff we talked about last time we saw each other, which also was at the event in Austin, because we talked about some shirts, perhaps, some merchandise, uh, and they said they were gonna send us some, and they totally followed up on that. Now I should probably do the same and send some shirts and stuff over to Gordon. We got a mug there that says, I game at 19 by 10, so that's, uh, that's not, not 16 by nine or anything like that. And then we have a whole assortment of shirts from the full nerd, like this one on the nice gray background. We have this one that says, hello, I'm a friend of the show. Classic full nerd logo with I game at 19 by 10 on the back. Wow, they have a lot of designs. That one says smooth 30, 30. <laughs> you guys, are you guys poking fun of console gamers? You know, they can game at higher resolutions now, right? Depending on the console. Oh, this one's a lovely Christmas design. And my goodness, they have even included a hoodie. <laughs> it's a hoodie with the Outrage Pony on it. That's, that's freaking awesome. What a, all right. That, that's a lot of, that's a lot of shirts and stuff. So I know at least one or two of these uh, were requested by Joe. So uh, I'm gonna figure out which of these he wants, but thank you, Gordon. Thanks to everyone over at PC World. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, likewise. I hope you all have a fantastic 2023 as well. Oh, that's right. Uh, PC World also, they had an end of the year thing where they voted on stuff and they voted my 8-bit merch, like the best merch, like among, I guess amongst the tech media out there. So that's really cool too. And I never got a chance to say thank you to them for that. So thank you guys uh, for that as well. And, uh, and you're right, you're totally right. Okay, for this last thing, uh, I'm technically cheating because I ordered this stuff for myself, but it is for a project that I've sort of had like running in the back burner for a while. And it's something that I'm gonna move ahead with a little bit in uh, 2023. And I thought, let's see if you guys might be interested in seeing more on it. How can I describe? I wanted to set up something for here in the office. I wanted it to be very easy for me to use and not to require me to uh, get really good at using Linux or something like that. Cause while I want to do that, I'm not ready to do that quite yet. So I got a very inexpensive laptop. It was only about 250 bucks during Black Friday and I'm hoping it can do three different things for me here. One is run a Home Assistant and there is sort of a Windows ported version of Home Assistant that you can get that will run natively on a Windows system. Second is for it to run Contacam or one of the uh, security camera softwares uh, to do that. And third is for me to be able to connect up some network attached storage to it so I can log in remotely to either look at the cameras or copy stuff to and from network attached storage or I mean, I guess do home assistant stuff, but that's like for controlling these lights behind me, which you might notice every once in a while I'll turn off. Honestly, I was expecting uh, getting home assistant set up to fix that, but they do still seem to go off and back on every so often. But you know, so it goes. It's, it's not a perfect setup here behind me and I do hope to take another swing at updating that as well. Cause even, even my little foam piece in the background here, I feel like needs a second pass. Just to fix some minor issues with, with things lining up and there's a few gaps at the edges still. But here it is. Uh, to connect to that laptop, we have this right here uh, from Sabrent. Sabrent? It's a four bay SATA hard drive trayless docking station, USB 3.1 connectivity. I guess use USB 3.1 gen two to be specific. So this isn't like a raid box or something that has like a little controller built in or anything like that. Basically this is like plugging in an external drive. That's just a USB drive, but it's a four bay storage unit that you can connect your own hard drives to. So yeah, I kind of uh, spur of the moment bought a lot of this stuff back during the black Friday time period. These are four hard drives. What did I end up getting? I don't even remember. These are, these are Seagate Iron Wolf eight terabyte hard drives. I was looking at like 14 terabyte and above ones and then I finally cheaped out and I was like, you know what? The eight terabyte ones are still a good price per gigabyte, so we'll go with four of those. And the primary complaint for this specific unit from Sabrent, 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 whatever, is that the fan that it comes pre-installed with is very loud. Uh, so the Noctua NFA9 Flex can plug right into that. So I'm gonna swap out the fan, install these drives, and set this up as some network attached storage here. Do you guys wanna see me cover that further or should I just do that on my own time and not make a video about it in 2023? 
let me know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. But that is all of the mail time stuff that I have to open for now. So a big thank you to all of my fans who have sent stuff in. And again, if you'd like to send stuff to my PO box, it is down in the video's description. A big thank you to the vendors who have sent uh, some gifts to me as well. Some really nice stuff has arrived. Big thank you to John as well, who handles the Paul's Hardware merchandise. And if you guys are interested, my Paul's Hardware holiday sale on paulshardware.net is on through the end of the year. So through the 31st, you can still get some discounts there if you want to order some Paul's Hardware merch for yourself. But that's all the time I have for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see the videos I have coming at you in 2023, including my CES coverage, which should start January 4th or 5th or 6th or something like that. But it's, it's all next year, so we'll worry about it then. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.